And we're rolling. Hey guys, I'm Rod. I'm Rod. I'm your happy hippie. Welcome to my channel. Um, jumping on a thread started by Chris Profi, and this is a singer-songwriter thread. I love singer-songwriter music. Um, very much in line with Americana, just without the twang. Um, I did not like it as a teenager. I thought it was hokey and cheesy and it was for old people. I remember back in the late 70s watching, you know, late night TV and they would advertise the commercials like Ronco or whatever presents singer songwriters of the 1970s. And it showed John Denver and Carol King. And those are two great artists. I don't have any John Denver, but I do have some Carol King and I respect those guys. They were great songwriters and entertainers. There were people like Melanie. And I love Melanie. But it's a genre of music. Google it. It's usually a solo performer who writes his or her own music on guitar or piano and performs as a solo act, sometimes with a band. Um, Keith Richards plays guitar and sings, but he's not a fucking singer-songwriter. Either it's Paul Stanley. Either it's the dude from Guns N' Roses, man. Singer-songwriter was a type of fucking music. You can't say Jim Croce was heavy metal because he played guitar and sang. Well, fuck. He wasn't. He was a singer-songwriter. It's actually a genre of music. And this guy was a master at it. Jim Croce, the late Jim Croce. And those are the most popular things that come to mind when people talk about it. And, of course, Bob Dylan arguably the best songwriter that ever lived. If you ask Steve Earle, he's going to say Towns Van Zant. He's going to tell you he'd stand on Bob Dylan's coffee table and scream it. That's actually a quote by Steve Earle. Um, look what Hendrix did to Dylan's music. He took him, he, he rocked him out. Bob Dylan is a serious singer songwriter. This guy right here, John Hyatt. A lot of people have covered his music. Singer, songwriter, John Hyatt, wonderful guy, still going. The late Guy Clark, Texas, singer, songwriter, Guy Clark. He's best known for songs like Homegrown Tomatoes that I think someone had a country hit with. But he wrote some wonderful, wonderful music. L.A. Freeway and just such great stuff, man. Robert Earl King. He's the guy that wrote the song, The Road Goes On Forever and The Party Never Ends. Joe Ely actually bought the song from him, and now he owns the rights to it, but it's still credited to Robert Earl King Jr. He does a cover on this album, of Swerving in My Lane, written by another great female singer-songwriter, Nancy Griffith. Nancy Griffith, amazing singer-songwriter. We talked about Tans Van Zant wrote Poncho and Lefty and so, by so many others. But at the same time, he covered other people's songs. Like he does an incredible version of Dead Flowers. Phil Oaks, singer-songwriter. Henry the Third, man. John Henry the Third. This guy leans more towards country, but he's a storyteller. He's a songwriter. This album is actually hard to find. They're worth about 30 bucks a piece. I don't know how I'm, actually, I do know how I'm in possession of three of them, but I thought I had given one of them to a friend of mine many, many years ago. Um, singer, songwriter, music, Jimmy Dale Gilmore, wonderful. Chris Wall, this guy, he, uh, he wrote a song that was covered by a country band called, uh, Confederate Railroad. The name of the song was Trashy Women. This was my radio promo copy of it. I used to have the songs marked out that you could not play. He wrote a song called I Wish John Stetson Made Howards Instead of Hats. Really cool song. Mark David Manders. Texas Boy. On Blind Nilo Records. There's a song on here about Gillespie County Peaches. And he gives me credit for uh, encouraging him to uh, put this on album finally. He used to do the song live in concert. And uh, he was a friend of mine. 
So, man, just put it on the flipping album. And he did one day or one time on this particular CD and says that he finished the song, actually put choruses to the song at the assistant's or assistance, I'm ass, I not assisted him, but I insisted on it. Uh, Mark David Manders, um, Tracy Flippin Chapman. What? She's a singer songwriter. Damn it! This is what a singer songwriter is. Tracy Chapman, Hoyt Axton, this cowboy looking mug is a singer songwriter. Did you know that he wrote the No No song by um, Ringo Starr, made famous? Uh, a lot of people have covered his flipping music. I'll read you a couple covers of his songs. Um, the Pusher. He wrote The Pusher. He wrote the No-No song. He wrote Joy to the World, and he wrote Never Been to Spain. He also wrote a great song called Jealous Man. Some more Tracy Chapman. Cat Stevens defines a singer-songwriter. Yeah, Steve Earle, singer-songwriter Steve Earle, doing a tribute to his son, who was a singer-songwriter. Randy Newman once quoted, hey, if you could put up with some damn guitar player tuning his guitar for 10 minutes, you could put up with me rambling. Randy Newman, Land of Dreams, singer-songwriter, fantastic singer-songwriter. And this is a gift that someone had given me. This is Gun on one side and Vow on the other side. Two singer-songwriters. It is Kurt Vi and Steve Gunn. Both singer-songwriters doing acoustic music. And one of them is actually covering Randy Newman. A great thread by... A, great thread by a Chris Profi. I love the whole singer-songwriter thing. I could talk about this for a long time. Uncle Tupelo, man. Jeff Tweedy. He was a singer-songwriter. Je Jerry Jeff Walker. Very much a storyteller and singer-songwriter. Great thread. Jump on this thread. And I want to see it. I want to see what you got to say. Leave comments below. If you haven't already subscribed... Hit that subscribe button. It's it's free to subscribe. It's it's free as water. Only we have to pay for bottled water now. But this is free. Just hit the sub button.